Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbi yessir ve la tu'assir Rabbi temmim bil hayr. Oh my lord, make it easy and don't make it difficult. Oh my lord, complete it with goodness. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters and welcome to the practical Quran learning system. This is lesson 10. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you the pronoun ha. What is the pronoun ha? You can see the pronoun ha at the end of the words while reading the Quran. When you read the Quran, sometimes you get confused whether the pronoun ha is stretched or not. Now you will learn it in a practical way, inshallah. The stretching of the pronoun ha depends on the letter. To figure this out, we will check the letter before it. If the letter before the pronoun ha has a fatha, kasra, or damma, any one of them, you stretch the pronoun ha. Let's make an example to understand this better. Rabbehu, you see, before the pronoun ha is fatha. That's why you stretch the ha. And you say, Rabbehu. Next example, ve kütü bihi, you see? Ve kütü bihi, there is a kasra here, the before the letter ha, there is a kasra, before the letter ha, the letter has kasra. That's why you stretch the ha. Ve kütü bihi. Ve kütü bihi. Let's look at another example. Tu ja vi ruhu. You see? The pronoun ha, okay? Before the pronoun ha, letter, letter has damma. So that's why you stretch the pronoun ha. Tu ja vi ruhu. Tu ja vi ruhu. You stretch the pronoun ha two times. Well, let's look at the other examples. Ve rusu lihi. You see, there is a kasra here and you stretch it. Ve rusu lihi. And the other one, ne bezehu. You see fatha here. Ne bezehu. You stretch the pronoun ha. So far, we have seen examples of stretching the pronoun ha like this. We were applying this rule with the letters Vav, Ya and Elif. Vav, Ya and Elif. When we're reading the Quran, if we see a mad letter, I mean Vav, Ya or Elif, before the pronoun Ha, you will not stretch it. If any one of the mad letters are available, we keep the pronoun Ha short. For example, you see Abahu, there is an Elif here and before the pronoun ha, elif, mat elif, okay? There is an elif. That's why you don't stretch the ha. Abahu. You don't say abahu. Why? Because there is one of the med letters here. Next example. Ehuhu. I don't say ehuhu. Why? Because before the pronoun ha, there is a one of the med letters here. Wow. Ehuhu. That's why I don't stretch it. The next example. Fihi, fihi, I don't say fihi. Why? Because before the pronoun ha, there is a med letter here. Yeah. Fihi. Finally, if the jazm comes before the pronoun ha, you don't stretch it either. For example, min hu, you don't say min hu. Why? Because before the pronoun ha, there is jazm here. Next example, alayhi, I don't say alayhi. Why? Because the pronoun ha here, before the pronoun ha, there is a jazm here. That's why I don't stretch it. I read as alayhi. That's it. Well done. Just by understanding the pronoun ha, you have now completed lesson 10.